the, the church, church key. key. So here we are, it's Davies, London. Welcome back. Today we're, uh, we're going out to the church key. We're gonna meet a special guest there. Now normally we would take the, uh, we'll take a picture of it over here. Normally we take the trail beast when we go out here. But it looks a little bit like rain and it doesn't have a roof. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take the urban assault vehicle today. So are you all ready to go, Lucinda? I'm ready to go. Okay. Richmond Row, we're at St. Uh, what is it? St. Paul's Cathedral, right downtown London. Beautiful big church. The uh, tower was just restored about 20 years ago. Um, it's quite the cool place, but we're not going to the church today, of course. Today we're uh, we're going next door to the church key. Now, what can I tell you about the church key? Well, I don't know much about it. I've never been there, but that's not to say I haven't been there in this incarnation. I worked there over 30 years ago when that was a restaurant called Sorrenti's. Uh, so, well, we'll see how it compares to back when I was there. This is, uh, this is quite the cathedral here. This place is huge. Now you can see right behind us is the church key. You can see the patio. And uh, let me see if I can zoom in on this right here. No, I guess I can't, but there might be somebody sleeping on that park bench right there. All right, so we're gonna meet a special guest here as we said, so we'll go look for him and we'll get to it. Located on Richmond Row, right across from the Grand Theater, as you can see beside me, right next to St. Paul's Cathedral is the church key. Well, we'll get a look at the front of that. Before we go in, we'll get a couple of shots and then we'll find out what this place is all about. This is our special guest today. It's Kim, you may recognize from Kim Fest. Welcome to the show, Kim. Well, thank you for having me. No problem, thanks for coming. Uh, we'll uh, get a look at the menu here, I'll take a picture of it, and we'll, uh, we'll get started and see what we're gonna eat today. So, uh, I saw lamb on the menu. I was sure you would be eating lamb. Well, there's lamb curry. And I may actually uh, be going for that. White shrimp wedge. I was about to take my glasses off again, but that Diet Coke might be a little flat. Kim says it can't be a little flat, so it must be a lot of flat. Okay, okay this is a chicken liver pate. That is the Branston pickle. That's a salmon uh, rillette. This is a um, Stelton blue cheese, roasted garlic clove, aged white cheddar, 
This is a salami of some kind, and your crostinis, and then pickled beans, onion, and quail eggs. I love the salami of some kind. I don't know the exact name. It's salami. It used to be duck bacon. Are you our salami. server now? No, actually, is I just ran the food. That's it? Yeah. It's a team job. It is? That's great. What do you got there, Lucinda? I've got some of the chicken liver pate. Pate, chicken liver. Sounds delicious. That's something. How is it? Very tasty. Lovely. Excellent. We have Kim try some of the uh, no, salmon. No, we don't have to have Kim try anything. We got this so we could all share this, Kim. So. No, no, no. We got this so you and Lucinda can share it. Uh, Don't you, argue with me on tape. Just you, try some of no, this. No, you can get a shot of me eating the curry. Why won't you try this? Because I want to. I want to. I want to enjoy the expressions on yours and Lucinda's face as you munch. I doubt if I'm going to try it on a roll. I'll just take a little. So Kim's going to try this salmon roulade, salmon mousse, salmon whatever they call it. Well, it looks like more like a salmon mousse, doesn't it? I'm really disappointed that they took the duck breast bacon off and replaced it with salami. Why did they do that? I don't know. That's It seems to be a new thing. I'm, I'm more impressed with the duck breast bacon, personally. Uh, the salmon uh, pate or uh, whatever it is, it's delicious. It really is. I don't like salmon, but I'll give it a try. Oh, we're going to have Lucinda try it. It does not even taste like salmon. Oh, does it taste like fish? It tastes like, um... No, it doesn't taste fishy at all. Okay. Um, at first it tasted really nice. I got the lemon and the dill. Yeah, lemon and Go ahead. And? But then I got the salmon. You did not. I did. You're making that up. No. And I don't, I, yeah, I don't, don't like, like salmon. salmon. <laughs> don't like salmon. But I tried it. <laughs> then I'll look it up myself. Now I thought the plamish platter was pretty good. All in all, I was pretty disappointed in the fact that they brought out the salami. I was really looking forward to the duck bacon. But other than that, uh, I thought it was great. The pickled quail well, egg, was great. It, was, was it duck bacon or was it the beef bacon? Beef, no, but duck bacon on this, I think it was. Beef bacon was on the beef sa sandwich. Oh, okay. My mistake, your fault. Yes, pickled eggs were good. Uh, the uh, pickled onions were good. They were pretty strong in vinegar, but I like that. fan of both curry and lamb so there you go hopefully this one twice it smells delicious I can tell you that that is the Reuben that looks delicious that Lucinda got with the uh, cheddar broccoli cheddar broccoli or broccoli and cheese soup and of course you know I got to try the burger so there it is Kim's gonna cry his curry here it smells Wonderful, Kim. It smells delicious. Now, what about the taste? Well, it smells better than it tastes. Really? And, you know, it, it hurts me to actually say that because it really does not have much of a curry flavor. So it's a little mild. Well, Kim thinks the curry is just a little too mild. Not enough flavor. Well, it, it, it's more of a Tastes more of a like a lamb. I'd have to call it more of like a lamb stew than a lamb curry. And Lucinda, how about you? You gonna try that soup? 
Now, to me, broccoli, cheddar soup, that's a little pedestrian. Hopefully it's homemade. Definitely homemade. Not too bad. Hint of cheddar. Could use more cheese, maybe? Could use more cheese. It's a little... Um, Thin, a little watery? Uh, grainy. Grainy. Like it's not a, a nice puree, it's not a nice smooth, it's a little grainy. Try your sandwich there. Is that, uh, that kind of looks almost like a pretzel bun, doesn't it? Yes, it is. And that's the Reuben. How's it look inside? It looks pretty good. It could use more meat on there, couldn't it? Just meat. How is that? Is the, is the uh, bread uh, good? The pretzel bun is really nice. It's uh, fluffy and airy. And how about the meat in that Reuben? Do you think that's made here? Or do you think some of they're buying that already pre-made? I think it's done here. It's actually kind of, maybe it's the Russian dressing on here. It's really sweet. It's kind of sweet. The pretzel roll is good? Yeah, the pretzel roll is really good. You're enjoying it? I am. Perfect. So, this is the burger. I would call that a brioche bun. Would you go call that a brioche bun? Uh, it looks like, uh, is that arugula on this? It is. It is. Uh, there's uh, some cheese there. That is uh, brie. I think that's like a caramelized onion. And underneath, uh, I'm not sure, is that like a bacon jam or something under there? Let's try it out. It's got some weight to it, this burger. Um, notice that the bun fits the burger. You know how we hate it when the bun or the burger is this size and the bun's this size. Oh, they they gotta match. Did you taste the bacon in the burger? I do taste a bit of the bacon in the burger. I think it needs to be seasoned a little more. A little salt and pepper would have made it better, but. All in all, not the greatest burger I've had, but definitely a good burger. All right, so let's check out the bill. We'll just give Lucinda to hold it down for us. So Kim left. He wouldn't let me pay for his, so this is mine here. Um, now, they took the pop back. They didn't charge me for the, the Diet Pepsi. It was, uh, they said their CO2 was out. It was a little flat. So 60 bucks, 70 bucks with tip. A little pricey. We'll go home and talk about this, all right? All right, so that was that. That was the church key. Really, it wasn't bad. I didn't think for the price that it was exceptional. You know, the the menu looks great. It looks inspired. It looks great. Uh, the curry was just, it just wasn't flavorful enough for Kim. I thought the burger was good, but it wasn't, you know, I've had better burgers for less money. The fries could have been crispier the pop was uh flat you know you think they would have known that before they brought it out um i tried some of lucinda's broccoli and cheese soup and really to me you know a place like that making broccoli and cheese soup is just a cop out and there really wasn't much cheese in it it was gritty uh, lucinda loved her sandwich she thought the sandwich was delicious um the plowman's plate it wasn't bad i was i was disappointed that it didn't have the duck breast bacon like I read on their website, you know, the the salami. Although it was an artesian salami, could have been a lot better. So, yeah, it, it disappointed. I would probably pass next time, personally. Though, I'm not saying the place was bad. It was delicious. It just wasn't as good as I expected it to be. So that's it for this week. Uh, look for us next time. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Leave a comment below. And live on location, I'm Dave, and this is Dave Eats London.